Hi, this is Matt from Smart Online Tutoring, and today I'm going to show you Off to Class, which is a teacher toolkit for anyone teaching English as a second language, or ESL. And here you can register for a free account, which gives you access to all their lesson content, as well as their games and placement tests. So as you can see here, I'm on the homepage, offtoclass.com, and straight away you can choose to register for your free account. So you can sign up simply by entering your email, uh, confirming your email and clicking the sign up button here. So once you've added your name and password, you'll receive an email from off the class and then you can click the link and this will confirm that your application is successful. And you'll then be redirected to this page here, which is your login. Now you can start searching the bank of lesson materials here, um, either by looking um, in the search bar here at the top for some specific grammar or lesson topic, um, or you can scroll down and just search the various different types of activities and materials that they provide. For example, speaking activities, or IELTS listening, business English, or if you want to be more specific and focus on a particular vocabulary or grammar, um, you can do so by scrolling down like this. One thing also to note is that you can search by levels. So for example, if you only want to search for intermediate level, you can do so. Um, and this will just limit the number of lessons that you can access here um, to inter intermediate only. Um, or you can search all levels or a selection of levels if you wish. Okay, so let's say for an example, I'd like to search for some intermediate level speaking activity. So I can click this drop down, choose a topic that I know my student is interested in, such as cinema. And here you have three options. You can launch the lesson preview or preview the homework. So if you want to just check to see what the lesson is about beforehand, it gives you some primary objectives and some other information to bear in mind. So you can then either decide to launch the lesson or click back. Maybe you'd like to preview the homework. Um, so this will open up a new tab and this will give you the homework that will come as part of the lesson here. So that all looks good to me. And I'm going to return back to where I want to launch the lesson by clicking here. Now it will ask you who you are teaching today. So I don't have any students other than the example student that comes with the free account. So I'm going to add a student to my account. So we can just complete this information here. Once you've added the student's email um, and also their password here that they will use to access their account, you can also choose the interface language. So if your student is a weaker level, for example, um, and they need some additional help, you could choose the interface language, or you can leave it as English, it's up to you. Um, you can also send a copy of the credentials to the student, i.e. the login details, um, and you can click yes here. But I'm just gonna click add student now. When you launch the lesson, you'll see that on the left hand side there are the teacher's notes and on the right hand side are the slides for the students. As you click through each of the slides, the teacher's notes are also available for each slide. So you can teach away while sharing your screen. If you don't want the student to be able to see the teacher's notes, you can click this button in the top right hand corner which makes it full screen and then you can either hide or close the teacher's notes here and then just continue going through the slides as you wish. If you come out of the full screen, um, you can also see at the bottom here, there are several options, including take notes. So if you wanted to take some notes about your student to save for later, you can do this here. And then you can submit your notes, it says it's saved and you can continue teaching. A couple of other features to draw your attention to that are great. In the top right hand corner, you can also add text to each of the slides. So if you wanted to um, write something here, you can do so. And also you can 
draw on the slides. So if maybe you wanted to highlight something specific, you can draw like this all over the slides um, and clear any of your drawing or writing by pressing that button there. There's also a little magnifying glass. So if you wanted to zoom in on something, you can just hover over it like that and it will increase the size. So when you've come to the end of your class and you want to finish the lesson, you can click in the bottom right hand corner here that says close the classroom. You'll be prompted to send the student homework that comes with the lesson. So you can um, even set a due date here for the homework if you wish. And also um, you can CC the homework to somebody else if you want to, a parent for example. You can either choose to send the homework or if you don't want to send any homework just click close classroom without sending. And you can now prepare for your next lesson by searching off to classes library which currently has over 500 ESL lesson plans available. After your 30 day free trial period has finished, if you love using off to class to teach your online students and want to carry on with these pre-prepared lesson plans, you can opt for one of their paid for plans. So they offer a light version at $7 a month, and this gives you two student accounts. If you want to have more students, then you can pay for a medium or heavy account up to $25 per month. All of these three accounts come with unlimited lessons, homework, and the unlimited games and placement test as well.